Hello beekeepers. You might remember this picture from a couple weeks back when I did a bee tree cutout. And this was the house that the bees moved into the day we brought them back to the bee yard. It's pretty beat up and there was a lot of bees. If I had to guess, there was probably maybe five or even six pounds worth of bees. So they weren't going to last too, too very long in that box and I needed to get them into something bigger. So I built one of my modified Langstroths, which is an extra deep horizontal hive. And this is patterned after the Layens style hive. Now before I could move the bees into their new hive, I noticed that the hive stand was uh, pretty beat up and dry rotting. So I had to get rid of that and replace it with a new pressure treated hive stand that you see me setting up here. Now, when you don't use foundation, it's very important that you level your hives, and I really mean level. I get them as close to true level as possible. So that's what you want to aim for if you're not using any foundation. Otherwise, the bees are going to draw the comb plum, and it's going to make a mess. Now, now one of the big selling points on horizontal hives is there's no heavy lifting. Uh, you got to read the fine print. Uh, there's always the setup. So if that's too much weight for you to lift, which in this case, this hive is about mm, 45, 50 pounds without bees or anything, uh, just get a kid to come over and do it for you. Right. Got them. Let's put in our moisture absorbent material. Just sawdust. Let's see if that's enough. Make it more like a tree. Spread around. Oh, there's a couple of chunks we don't need in there. Well, let's see, there are, they recognize their hive, but they don't quite know what I'm up to yet. Uh, and this is a lot of bees, that's why I gotta get them into something bigger. Look at all those bees. All right, very nice. Hey guys. All right, this is the one frame that had brood in the middle. I wanna see what they're doing with it. And larvas. This was the uh, frame of brood that I put in as an anchor. And I see very young larvae in there. I have a feeling that when we vacuumed these bees, we also did. There's the queen right there in the first frame. Look at her. She... She's really on the first frame we picked up. Good deal. All right, we're going to move her first and get her here. This will be their new home right here. So I want to put a frame extension on her right away and put her in. Let's rest her here till I get my frame extension and my screwdriver. I don't want to use a power tool on her, on her particular frame. So let's put it here, have it ready to go. Let's get this taken care of right away. All right, make sure that we don't disturb our queen. There she is, she's busy working. Why, oh, she's pretty, look at her. Oh, she's got a, she's a good looking queenie. I gotta scrape a little of the propolis off of here so that we can secure this. Okay, that's that and this piece right here. All right, and then a little bit here too. All right, I want to get this in as quick as I can. Let's put this up here. Watch out, little bee. And then 
get this installed right away. Okay, that's good. I get these other couple here. Good. Last one here. Good. We don't want to shake them up too much. And there we are. And let's just tighten this middle one just a little more. Maybe we can sink that in. All right, good. That's what we got. All right, let's make sure the queen is still attached. We're riding on with these bees. Uh, I do not see her here. Uh, let's turn it around this way. And there she is, right in the middle. Look at her. There she goes. And she's looking for cells to lay in. All right, very nice. We got our queen right off the get-go. That makes it easier. Now all we gotta do is put frame extensions on the rest of the frames and place them into what is now the brood nest. Let's see what she's been doing here. Now I'm only going to make uh, my brood nest in the middle, or I should say off to the one side. Oh, that's glued on there. Good. I got it that time. Look at all that cap brood. Now that was not here at all when I put these bees in a couple weeks ago. Boy, look at her go. A lot of cap brood there. That's beautiful. See, this this hive was ready to bust. When this all hatches in a day or two, they're going to need some more room to expand. That's why I wanted to get them into this Lands hive, or I should say it's actually a modified Lands. It's a Langstroth modified with the Lands design, the deep horizontal. All right. Now if we find, well in fact I'm going to do this, in case we find more honey frames, the honey will go here and any brood is going to go right here. Next. Oh, I see brood already. Okay, let's get that brood out guys. Man, she was going to town with brood. Look at that. Whoa. Okay, that's fresh comb. And I sure hope I can get an extension on this without it breaking. That just moved. Oh boy, I'm a little nervous. I gotta get this in without it breaking. I almost wonder if I should get a piece of string. There's a lot of, uh, well, I should say it's newly drawn wax and it's really loose and I do not want it to fall while I'm fiddling around trying to get the uh, frame extension on it. So I'm gonna tie it in there and the bees can chew through this string whenever they want. Okay. So I'm going to wind this around right here. Let me get that. I'm going to tie it here. And I just want a little more stability while working with this. I might not need it, but I don't want to take the chance. That's better. Okay, now, now what I should be able to do with that string is just wind it around here a couple times.
There we are. All right, now I think I can turn this upside down without the threat of the brood comb breaking off. Yeah, that's better. I don't want to take that chance. And there we go. Let's put an extension on there. Yeah, all right. Hey, guys. All right. That's going to be a lot better. Way better. Okay. What's nice about doing this is you get to see all the different ways that you can manage your bees and what they'll actually let you do. And it's amazing to me that they're letting me work with power tools. I just think that is a testimony to their temperament. I don't have my veil on. There we go. Good bees. All right, let's put this in with the brood. That goes in with the brood. They're gonna have a good sized brood nest when they draw that down. When they draw that downward, let's see, I bet you she's got a few more brood frames in there. Yep, sure enough. He's busy. Okay, in you go. That is, uh, got a lot of eggs. So again, that's gonna go in the middle of the brood nest. I think most of the brood nest is gonna be on about six, seven frames. So this is honey, one. So we won't count that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, seven, maybe eight frames she'll run brood, maybe 10. So she might come all the way out to here and this will all be brewed. Well, let's say she's a really good, strong queen. Maybe she will use all these frames. So we still will have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight frames of honey. All right, so I'm gonna move this back. All right, let's put in our pieces that cover the interior. Okay. All right, put this in here. Mm, looks like this has got a little warp to it. Yeah, it sure does. Let's do it this way. Boy, you can feel the heat coming out of that brood nest. Well, you put your hand right here. It is like a heater. And that's the purpose of this hive, is to help them keep that brood at a good temperature. All right, now I, I chose a good time of day to do this. Um, it's a little after lunchtime. It's about 1.30. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Beautiful. Nice and tight. And they'll propolize this shut, I'm sure. Let's close it up and let these bees do what they need to do. Put the latch on. All right, we are in business. Now they're gonna very quickly figure out that this is where they need to go. I'm gonna put it right by here. This is the entrance I want them to use. And I'm gonna close the other one off. Got my hive tool. I'll put that here. Now the reason why we're closing this side off is because we want the brood nest to stay on that side. And they will put their excess honey stores away from the entrance because they don't want that to get stolen. So that's why we close this off. All right, put away our toys and we're done here. They're gonna come back to this spot and they'll get in there, they'll figure it out. 
it's gonna take a little while but I wanted to get this done now because she had so much brood going I didn't have much time and I don't have many eight frame boxes to super these bees with so I needed to get this taken care of right away looks good looks like a successful transplant so that's how we transfer a standard Langstroth frame into the extra deep horizontals and that's a beautiful hive too and that's all the hive they'll ever need you don't have to add nothing to it if there's honey that's extra it'll be on the one side and you can harvest that all right friends that's it for now